In this video, we'll be making this pickless triangle. And if you haven't yet, click the subscribe button. Thanks. The first thing that I'll do is I'll break down the plywood into the various components. If you're following along the plans, you're going to need four rail parts and two triangle parts for the pivot point. When you're cutting the parts out, you want to leave a little bit of room so you can come back later and trim things up if you need. The dimensions aren't really exact, so you can make this any size you want. I'm going to make a template to locate the holes for the rods. I'm just using a quarter inch sheet of plywood here, marking the center. And then I'm laying out the rods every six inches. Once I got my layout complete, I'll go ahead and start the center with a punch. That will help me align things at the drill press. My rods are an inch and an eighth in diameter, so I'm just using an inch and an eighth diameter bit. With the drill press, you don't need a drill press, you can always use a power tool and power drill to get their holes bored out. So with the template made, I'm going to lay the template on top of my rails and that way, once I go back to the drill press, I can align the holes and it'll give me the exact location where I need to bore the holes out with my Forstner bit. I'm only drilling out maybe halfway of the plywood. That would be deep enough for the rods to sit in. Add a little bit of glue and it'll be nice and secured. You don't want to go all the way through because then the rod will show on the other side. And you just repeat that with all your rails. I'm going to round over the ends of the rails using a template. So to make the template, I'm just using a five inch hole saw. That way it will drill a perfect five inch circle where I can just simply trace that edge onto my rail and then cut it out on the bandsaw. Of course, you can just use a compass. You don't need to make a template. I'll go ahead and cut everything on the bandsaw and then sand it up to the line. And this is what you should get. The triangles will be open at a 60 degree angle. So I'm going to set my miter gauge to 60 degrees, make my cuts on all three sides. And that should give me the general shape of the triangle. Using the same template, or you can use your compass, I went ahead and traced the arch at each corner of the triangle, went back to the bandsaw and trimmed it out. Again, I'm not trimming exactly on the line, I'm saving a little bit of material so I can go ahead and sand it smooth. finish off the plywood, I'm using this hemp oil from The Real Milk Paint Co. They sent this out as well as the paint for me to use on this product. I have to say I really love the colors and how nice the hemp oil feels once it's cured. The application process is super easy as well. You just apply it on with a rag or a brush, you let it dry, and that's pretty much it. You don't have to wipe off any excess. Once the finish was applied, the next day I went ahead and secured the longer rail onto the triangle. This is going to be stationary, you don't have to worry about any pivoting on this rail. So you can go ahead and glue and screw the entire thing to the triangle. If you are going to use milk paint, which I suggest that you do because it's safe for kids, it'll come in this little bag and what you need to do is you have to actually add water to the powder and that will give you the paint. I actually made more than what I needed for this project, but the good thing is you can leave this 
in your refrigerator and it'll last you maybe about three weeks. But the cool thing is you can make as much as you need and if you need more, you just mix a little bit more. I didn't get any video of the application process for the paint, but it's pretty simple. You just use a brush, apply the paint, and the paint dries within like maybe 15 minutes. So it's a pretty quick drying paint. I ended up using five different colors for the rods. And then on one set of the rods, I kept it in a natural wood tone. Here I'm trimming the rods to the correct length. The length would vary depending on how wide you want to make your triangle. If you don't have the tools that I'm using, there's plenty of ways for you to cut these rods. You can always use a handsaw, you can always use a jigsaw, you can always use a miter saw. So there's many ways for you to do it. You don't have to have a table saw. Once everything was cut and dried, I'll go ahead and glue the rods to the rails, making sure to wipe up any excess glue with a wet towel. Go ahead and glue the other side as well, and then spill all the glue everywhere. <laughs> Luckily this glue wipes up pretty easily. You just use a wet towel, wipe up all the glue, and it's pretty good at not leaving any residue. I didn't have any issues with that, but I did went back and reapply a little bit of oil just in case. I'll go ahead and combine both sides of the rails, making sure that the holes lined up and then removing all of the excess glue with a wet towel. All right, this is where it gets a little tricky. I didn't follow a template, so it was a little bit complicated for me, but in the plans, I created a template for you. So once you get to this point, you'll know exactly where to drill your holes for your pivot point, as well as the locking knob. The important thing here is the location of the pivot point. If the pivot point is off axis, you might not be able to close the triangle. So if you follow the plans, you should be okay. Once I got the pivot point installed on both sides, I'll go ahead and pre-drill the area for my locking knob. On the rail portion, I need to create a larger hole for the threaded insert. On the triangle, I'll make a large enough hole for the locking knob to feed through the wood and then screw into the insert. I'll have a list of all of the items I used to build this project, as well as all the hardware. It'll also be located in the set of plans. The Pickler Triangle was designed by Emmy Pickler, and it's a useful tool for children to develop their fine motor skills. My son is at the age where he's climbing everywhere, he's crawling everywhere, so I'm really excited to see how he develops and grows as he uses this triangle. If you like this video, hit that like button and definitely subscribe. Thanks.